What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys and welcome to another installment in my Edgar Wright Director's Marathon. Continuing on in my series of reviews on the Cornetto Trilogy, today I'm taking a look at the second feature in the trilogy, 2007's Hot Fuzz. So Hot Fuzz was released in 2007, as I said already, this is the second film in Edgar Wright's Cornetto Trilogy, which the only connections that the Cornetto Trilogy has, it's a series of three films starring Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, and as Edgar Wright parodying different genres, Shaun of the Dead was a parody of zombie films, Hot Fuzz is a parody of action buddy cop movies, and the other connection is in each movie, the characters at least stop and eat a Cornetto ice cream, hence the name, the Cornetto Trilogy. Hot Fuzz, like with Shaun of the Dead, was a massive success critically and commercially, and there's some people who actually believe this is even better than Shaun of the Dead. Do I think it's better than Shaun of the Dead, a movie that I thoroughly enjoyed when I watched it recently for the first time? Let's find out together. So in Hot Fuzz, as a former London constable, Nicholas Angel finds it difficult to adapt to his new assignment in the sleepy British village of Sanford. Not only does he miss the excitement of the big city, but he also has a well-meaning oath for a partner. However, when a series of grisly accidents rocks Sanford, Angel spells something rotten in the idyllic village. And this movie stars Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, Jim Broadbent, Patty Considine, Rafe Spall, Olivia Coleman, Timothy Dalton, Bill Nye, Martin Freeman, and many, many more. Like I said, Hot Fuzz was a parody of the buddy cop action genre. There's jabs at different films in this type of subgenre, particularly movies like Lethal Weapon and Die Hard, just to name a few. The movie does follow the template of Two polar opposites teaming together and they end up becoming close friends who team up together reluctantly to take down a series of crimes. And like with Shaun of the Dead, this movie is ridiculously entertaining. Much like Shaun of the Dead, Edgar Wright was clearly passionate about the genre he was paying homage to. And even went as far as to get licenses for different DVD titles of the tropes and the movies they were kind of poking fun of. And like with Shaun of the Dead, he wrote this as well along with Simon Pegg. It's clear they have a passion for movies and it's really great that we have parody films that do a great job of poking fun of the genre and the trope while also being a love letter to them at the same time. And Hot Fuzz was no exception. This movie is ridiculously entertaining. I love the pairing once again of Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Simon Pegg being this by-the-book, no-nonsense cop who is very entertaining to watch. Nick Frost is like the buffoon who's very well-intentioned, but he, he's always the comical foil. And I love seeing them pair up together throughout this entire movie, them constantly butting heads and just spewing out some just hilarious dialogue together throughout the entire movie. It was so entertaining to watch. And the cast in this movie, I would say, is great as well. It's great seeing some really iconic British actors show up in this film. It's cool seeing Bill Nye once again in a different role. And even Martin Freeman, who later played Bilbo in the Hobbit trilogy. And he was also in the BBC Sherlock series as Watson. I do enjoy Martin Freeman as an actor. Timothy Dalton. I thought was deliciously over the top in this film. I highly enjoyed Timothy Dalton in this film. I'm not going to give away too much of his character, but Timothy Dalton shows up and whenever he's hanging out with Simon Pegg, he might just be the scene stealer of the entire movie. I love Timothy Dalton in this movie. It's crazy seeing him go from one of the more darker 007s to a very comical character in Hot Fuzz. It was great. And then Jim Broadbent. I've always enjoyed Jim Broadbent. I have grew up watching Jim Broadbent in quite a few different movies. Some of the voice roles he's done. He played the professor in Chronicles of Narnia. 
He played Professor Slughorn in some of the Harry Potter films. And it's great seeing, again, a more comical side of this actor who tends to play in eccentric, over-the-top roles. And it's one of the funniest roles he's ever played, in my opinion, and I enjoyed his presence as well. The movie not only mixes action films that kind of parodies with some of the gruesome, over-the-top violence that it does have, which did shock me a little bit, but it made the movie all the more funnier. Uh, I, the movie also like takes a jab at buddy cop films, and there's a little bit of a mystery angle as well as these murders are happening, some cloaked figures are axing off random characters left and right. The dim-witted police force believes it's all bizarre, unusual accidents. Simon Pegg's the only one who believes that they are actually murders going on under their nose. So it's interesting seeing the mystery play out. The twist related to this mystery is so insane and bonkers that it made the movie ten times funnier. And I love the execution of the twist and it leads to a very crazy third act that was so over the top in the, its execution that it made me love the movie even more. Now, I didn't enjoy it near as much as Shaun of the Dead. I thought Shaun of the Dead, I thought, was overall the funnier film. I think I enjoyed the characters a little more in Shaun of the Dead compared to Hot Fuzz. I think a lot of them are more dim-witted in this film compared to Shaun of the Dead. A lot of the characters were a lot more charming. And not that the characters in Hot Fuzz are bad, I just didn't find them near as memorable or I didn't care for them near as much. And also I do find, I think the movie might be a little too long. I think Shaun of the Dead was about an hour and a half and I thought it was paced expertly well for a comedy. And I think they might have over bloated a very simple narrative into a two hour film. I guess to try to make the movie comically epic. And there's some scenes I do feel like it was dragged out a little bit compared to Shaun of the Dead, which told a much more brisker story for its runtime. But I still thoroughly enjoyed Hot Fuzz. It's another great Edgar Wright film that is ridiculously entertaining from start to finish. I enjoyed seeing Simon Pegg and Nick Frost team together again. I love the British cast and the British humor. The film is joyfully over the top and it's a funny little love letter to action and buddy cop films that makes me appreciate the genre even more. I did have fun watching this film and it's a movie that does come highly recommended along with Shaun of the Dead. I'm also looking forward to checking out The World's End later on in the Edgar Wright Marathon, the final entry in the Cornetto Trilogy. I've heard good things about that film as well. As for Hot Fuzz, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars, and on the 100 point scale, it's getting an 86 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Hot Fuzz as part of my Edgar Wright Director's Marathon, where I'm reviewing his complete filmography from his directing debut to his most recent film. If you're a fan of his filmography, definitely check the link in the description below for the playlist of all the Edgar Wright films I've tackled in this series so far. At the time of this video, I reviewed Shaun of the Dead and also his low-budget student film, A Fistful of Fingers. If you're an Edgar Wright fan, definitely check the link in the description below to catch up on my past videos and click the subscribe button and notification bell to be notified of future videos in this series. I will be taking a look at The World's End sometime, but before we get to The World's End, the next feature in the Edgar Wright Director's Marathon that I'll be tackling is a review of an Edgar Wright film that I love to pieces. I think it's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen and it's one of the most inventive comic book movies of all time. I can't wait to share my thoughts on 2010 Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Definitely look forward to that video coming very very soon. But if you've seen Hot Fuzz, let me know down in the comments below would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, music reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!